Happy Friday nights. Welcome back to another episode of the studio. On today's show, we meet the founders of a student-owned vintage clothing store, find out what makes Eva Cosmetology such a popular program, and check in with a few students to find out how they spent their summer vacations. An all-new episode of your favorite student newscast starts in 3, three two, 2, 1. How's it going, Knights? I'm Jackson Sander. And I'm Elise Angeloni. Higley Assassins is an annual tradition on campus where seniors and juniors team up to compete in a school-wide water tag competition. This week, Lily and Rachel met with senior Bowman Cromer, the organizer of this year's game. Assassins is a game that's been played here at Higley for many years. It's become a tradition for the school and has created countless memories for our upperclassmen. Lily and I asked Bowman Cromer, who's running the game, and some people playing it to get a feel for what it's like. Running Assassins is very stressful at times, but it's kind of a rewarding thing because seeing people that like have each other, talking to each other like at lunch or like during school is kind of funny because it's like I know what's going on, but like they don't. But like coming up with the assignments and then like having to sort things out when like it doesn't go right. It's kind of annoying. So how the game works is every week you get assigned a team to go after and so your team has to stalk them, you know, like go to their work, follow them after school and you have to try to get them out with water and report it and you have to still be hiding and avoid people. It sounds difficult to be running the game but the real fun is playing it. The game's really fun because every week you're assigned a new team and you get to profile each person you have and you get to like go on full recon missions and like stake out their houses in the morning and stuff and it's just it's really fun to do with your team. The game can be stressful because you know going out in public you know you don't know if you're getting stalked on you don't know if someone's gonna come at you and jump at you and you know um, you don't want to get wet. So you should play assassins because it's kind of like it's a way to ruin people's day sometimes. People get out on their dates and you find, you find out who the snakes are you know you find out who the ops are. People should play Assassins because it's like a really fun game to play and especially during the beginning of the school year when there's not that many events going on, it's definitely something to do and it creates a lot of memories. Uh, working with the team is fun, you know, you get to go in and cooperate with other people, you get to come up and make plans and ideas to go in and get your, your team for the week out, so you know, it really brings the creative side of everyone together. The game is about making memories and new friends, but the real reason we play is for the prize. Well, the prize if you win, right now the pot's looking at $1,330. But we haven't done buybacks yet, so that's gonna probably add another three to four hundred dollars. How far will my team make it? We're going all the way. I think our team's gonna go all the way. We're gonna win. It seems like Assassins is a really good way to meet new people and to get to know your classmates. This tradition will continue on for many years to come. Make sure to follow at Higley underscore Assassins 2023 on Instagram to keep up with the latest news and to see your friends getting wet. This is Lily and Rachel signing off on The, the Studio. studio. Many students on campus have really cool hobbies outside of the kingdom that you may not even be aware of. In our next segment, Hannah and Annie set out to spotlight these students and their incredible talents. They met up with Higley senior Kayla Gowan to learn more about her passion for pageants. There are plenty of knights at Higley who have many talents, so we caught up with senior Kayla Gowan to learn more about her secret pageant life outside of school. I've been doing pageants since I was 13 months old, so for 17 years. Casual viewer may not understand how a beauty pageant is judged. Kayla explains the various categories of the competition. First it goes beauty, that's when you're in your dress. Then we have casual wear, which is more of a, like, something you would wear to work or an interview. Um, and then we have, like, outfit of choices, which are, like, your theme. And it's kind of like a little dance with modeling mixed together. Balancing a pageant life as a high school student can be very difficult, but through it all, Kayla finds a way. That's actually really, really hard because of the amount of traveling. Like, sometimes we have to leave, like, on the Thursday and Friday, which means I'm missing out on a bunch of, like, tests and things that need to get done, which that usually pushes back. But that means I just got to take a lot of time and try to turn those assignments in as quick as I can. My platform was a suicide awareness. It is a, it's no, it hasn't really started yet just because it was my first year ever competing like that, but it's a program where like, just so you know, you're not alone, you're never alone. 
You always have someone to talk to. You have always someone that can be there for you. Woo! I am Emily Dilly, and this is my husband, Aaron. We talked to Mrs. Dilly, wife of assistant principal, Mr. Dilly, who has a lot of experience in the pageant industry. Getting started in pageants was something I wanted to do growing up. I had seen them, thought they looked really fun, never really um, had the opportunity until after I graduated college. And then I saw a flyer or something that said, hey, enter the Miss Portland pageant. And I thought, why not? I'll give it a try. We asked Mrs. Dilly what advice she has for incoming pageant girls. Know yourself. I think that's one of the most important things getting into the pageant industry is know who you are and why you're doing it and have realistic expectations knowing that any different day, different set of judges could have a different result. Work every day, practice every day, make sure you're like connecting with people, you're talking with people, make sure you're getting the right support and what you need to get ready for a pageant. We look forward to seeing Kayla continue to succeed in beauty pageants. This is Hannah and Annie signing out for The, the Studio. On September 15th, NHS is hosting the first blood drive of the year in the small gym from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. This event will be open to students 16 and older as well as all Higley staff members. All blood types are greatly accepted and appreciated. To sign up and access the consent form, you can scan the QR code that will be posted around campus. Keep an eye out. On Tuesday, the district held a groundbreaking ceremony for the new classroom building coming soon to the empty lot just south of the football field. The marching band, cheerleaders, and school and district leadership were all on hand to share in the exciting event. Recently, Kayla and I visited the first year cosmetology class at the Evit campus off Power and Pecos. During our tour, we got a first-hand look at the curriculum to find out what it takes to succeed in this popular program. Evit cosmetology is popular amongst Higley juniors and seniors. The program consists of many things students enjoy. Today, we talked to Ms. Fenwick and two other first year cosmetology students to see what they think of the program so far. I've just been inspired by the hairdressers because I've gotten my hair done so many times. I've always done hair, like all growing up, done my hair, my family's hair. Like, it just is so fun to me that I'm really excited to learn how to do it for other people in like a more professional way. Brooklyn and Kira explain some of their favorite parts of the class and what they're looking forward to this year. What I'm looking forward most to at Eva is styling hair and giving it like highlights. I feel like I meet a lot of people from other schools. There's like probably six or seven different schools in our, just my class alone. So it's fun to meet a lot of different people. My favorite part is working in our mini salon that we have right next to our classroom. Brenda Fenwick, one of the cosmetology teachers at the Power Campus had some advice for the upcoming students next year. If I could give the first year students some advice, I would say follow your dreams, push yourself, it seems like this would be a job that would be super easy, and it's not. <laughs> Keep yourself organized, study a lot, and follow your dreams. The students are already jumping in. Um, I'll demonstrate maybe a haircut or something, and the students will go then to their stations. What's really cool is it starts right away. I would say join up because Eva's like a family. We hope the nights at Eva enjoy their time this school year. This, this is Lisa and Kayla reporting from The, the Studio. studio. Attention all Best Buddy members, this Monday, September 12th, we will hold our annual match party where you will meet up with your buddy in the Media Center from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Following a big win against Post and Butte last Friday, the varsity football team looks to improve their record to 2-0 tonight as they take on the Mountain Lions of Miranda Mountain View. Football season is a pinnacle part of any school year. Sal and I caught up with some of Higley football stars to hear their thoughts on the upcoming season. My name is Dom Esposito. I'm a senior. I play receiver. My name is Carter Hancock. I'm a senior. I play receiver. 
Nigel Eason, cornerback, junior. Practice is a crucial part of any sport and each team has their own routine. Practice starts with stretching with my individual group and then I return some punch from Carter Hancock, do some backpedaling drills to get ready for a uh, team comp. We do a little punting, and then we go right into uh, some swinging gate. And then we go back to the individual and after we finish that, the rest of the practice is with the team. Last year was a down season for the Knights and they're looking to improve this year. The team this year, I think is just more locked in and more of a family. I thought last year we were very separated. Uh, what's different this year is uh, we have a lot more experience as we had young guys last year. And uh, we have a new offensive scheme, which I'm really excited for. New members of the team can learn many things from the older guys. So my advice to the underclassmen would be uh, cherish every game and every practice you have because you never know when it'll get taken away from you. Uh, my sophomore year, we only played eight games because of COVID, so you know, I lost two games. Even through all the hardship, each player has their own goals. My personal goal this year is to get a thousand receiving yards. My personal goals are uh, to get a thousand yards receiving alongside my boy Carter. But this year, we're really hoping to win state. My team goals is to win state, you know. I feel like with our schedule, we could easily do that. My team goal is to win every game and uh, hopefully win 5A. Wish our fellow Knights the best of luck this year as they strive to make history. This is Salon Jackson signing off for the studio. Do you want to travel to Japan? Our Mandarin teacher, Miss Leatherby, is inviting you to join the EF trip to Japan in spring 2024, where you will learn more about the traditional and modern cultures of the country. Come to our trip information meeting on September 15th at 6 p.m. at the HHS Media Center. You can scan this QR code for more details. Now that we're back in school, it's easy to reflect on the months of June and July and think, wow, summer was pretty great. That's why Luke and Parker hit the courtyard to talk to a few students about how they spent their summer vacation. With school being back in session, me and Luke wanted to catch up with some higgly nights to see how their summer was. What did you do over this summer? You know, me and the boys just kicked it back and played some uh, nasty games of D&D. &D. I go to Park City. All right, what about you? Uh, I went to Lake Powell. What's your favorite thing about Lake Powell? Um, riding sea doo Going to Germany. How was Germany? Amazing. I loved it. Dirt biking. Uh, tell me how that was. I mean, right now it's pretty bad. I broke both my arms. Get a lot of money. How did you get that money? By selling clothes. What clothes did you sell? Uh, you know, like Black Air Forces, you know, designer, Balenciaga, Margiela, Rick Owens, Mason Mihara, uh, Prada, you know, Nike, you know, Yeezy, um, you know, Jordans, you know, all that good stuff. But this summer wasn't without us challenges. What was the worst thing about Germany? Uh, probably getting car sick and throwing up. Uh, the worst thing, I just got absolutely demolished, lost all my spells. Uh, it was a tragedy, but, you know, I overcame it. Uh, my grandma made me clean up everything. Uh, crashing into our boat. I didn't get enough money. That's tough, man. That's tough. It really is, man. All right. Well, you have a good day. You have a good day, sir. You too, man. All right. Thank you. It sounds like this summer was one to remember. This has been Luke and Parker signing off for the studio. The vintage clothing trend is still going strong, which means the opportunity to find and resell rare and unique clothing items is still there for anyone willing to put in the work. Riker met with one Higley Knight who has found a passion for doing just that. Connor Hansen, a senior at Higley High, and his friends have been turning a profit with their own vintage clothing brand. Recently, I caught up with Higley High student Connor Hansen and his business partner, Ty Anderson, to tell us about Sundance Vintage. We started Sundance about spring break last year. I like vintage clothes. You can just tell the quality is a lot better. Running a successful vintage shop takes effort. Connor and Ty know the perfect spots to find items that will sell. I like going to the bins. There's a lot of clothes you can look through, a lot of options. Definitely just Goodwill, just like the normal like Goodwills. But there's like specific locations because it's like places in Arizona where there's more old people, so there's more vintage. I think the longest I've spent shopping is probably like four or five hours. Me and my friend just got their opening, stayed for a couple rounds, ended up being a while. With a lot of vintage shops out there, Sundance works hard to stand out from the competition. I think the difference between us and Old Habits or Plato's Closet, all those places, is we're a lot cheaper. Uh, those places do upcharge a lot. The future of Sundance is super bright. For the future of Sundance, I just want to focus more on the Instagram, uh, posting stuff on the story, selling through there. Within like the next year, um, you know, that's when sort of high school will end and after high school plans will come into play. Just like events and just 
stuff to make it fun, more communal for everybody, and just like have fun revolved around shopping and buying just cool clothes. Sundance is trying to build their business. We mostly sell our clothes on Instagram at Sundance Vintage, um, and sometimes to other shops. And clothes usually mostly go to like locals and people who, who wear them, and not really other resellers. But yeah. If you're interested in vintage clothes, visit Sundance.Vintage on Instagram. This is Riker Pierce signing off. First one to text us or DM us, I love Sundance Vintage on Instagram. Get a free shirt or pants or whatever, just something free. Congratulations to our Lady Knights volleyball team for winning the 2022 Payson Invitational Volleyball Tournament. The Lady Knights only lost two sets to the entire tournament, steamrolling their way through most of the competition on their way to winning the championship. Please come and support your Lady Knights tonight when they take on a challenging opponent, Sunrise Mountain. Many students on campus have a strong passion for skating, so when a brand new skate park finally opened up, you can imagine the excitement flowing through the kingdom. Scotty and Hudson have the story. Recently, a skate park opened up located in Eastmark. Scotty and I asked some Higley skaters on their thoughts of the new park. My favorite feature of the skate park would have to be the flow. It's got really nice flow and really good transition into the flow. My favorite feature of the skate park is probably the big set at the bottom because it's like the handrail's kind of small. So it's like still hard to skate, but it's fun. The skate park is in Eastmark and it's like 20 minutes away from Hayley. Max and Gus have been inspired by a lot of skaters throughout their skating experience. Other skaters at the skate park definitely inspire me to hit new tricks because uh, they always hype you up and they always want you to succeed. Watching skate videos and watching other people skate, it makes me want to skate. Eastmark Skate Park has a lot of cool new features to offer. The skate park is better than others because it's fresh and it's still new and there's a lot of cool people who go and skate there. It's like brand new so it's like still fresh, not Nothing's broken and the vibe there is good. I would definitely recommend the skate park to a beginner because it is super easy and the culture is really friendly there and everyone's going to be hyping you up and trying to help you get new tricks. If you are interested in picking up a new hobby, make sure to check out the skate park. This is Scotty and Hudson signing off for the studio. That's it for this week, Knights. We hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you next week on The, the Studio. studio.